And now, the general weather around Alaska. Welcome everyone to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan, coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Tuesday, November 18th, 2025. And in the weather-related headlines across Alaska, well, up there at Utkiadvik, the sun will not rise again until January 23rd. Again, sun there just rides below the horizon as we go through the um, winter time period, including the solstice into first uh, few weeks of January, so it is the darkest period of the year. Along the west coast, we continue to have the threat of adverse winter weather. There is a second round of some snow and blowing snow that'll be moving across these areas Wednesday into Wednesday night before diminishing uh, early Thursday morning. Another system is gonna be coming out of the North Pacific uh, for tomorrow Wednesday, bringing high winds along the outer Panhandle coast and some heavier wet snow in northern areas, especially along the Klondike and Haines highways. Otherwise, as we look ahead into next week leading up to and through Thanksgiving, the storm track will be oriented along the Aleutians into the Gulf, though there are no major storms, at least at this time, on the horizon that should have a, a huge impact on holiday travel. But we'll keep a close eye on it because there's always surprises, especially when you're trying to look ahead several days out. But looking up there at Utkiadvik, uh, so long sun, right there along the southern horizon, temperature this afternoon, nine above. The, uh, again, the sun will not set for another 66, or rise again until another 66 days, till around January 23rd. Wales, seeing some light snow and blowing snow, 18 degrees, a brisk north-northwest wind at 30 miles an hour. There's gonna be another round of some light to moderate snow and blowing snow moving into there, especially as we go through uh, the latter half of Wednesday and Wednesday night. Chilkat, overcast 34. This area above Haines will see some more wet snow, accumulating snow developing for Wednesday, especially as we go through the morning and afternoon. Several inches of snow is possible there. Uh, that's why there's a winter storm warning for Wednesday afternoon into the early evening. Port Alexander between Sitka and Craig, uh, high wind warning is in effect there for Wednesday morning and afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 60 miles an hour from the southeast as a front butts up against the outer coast of the Panhandle. This afternoon, mostly cloudy, 45. And again, I forgot to take that out, but as far as any northern lights, we don't have any earth-directed sunspot groups that are gonna hurl any big mass, massive uh, coronal mass ejections toward us. That sunspot group is currently rotated around away from Earth, so we'll get a little break for a while. And uh, only other astronomical note is that uh, later Wednesday evening is the, the new moon of November. So quick checking the hazards. We have warnings in the southeast and advisories and warnings here in the west. More specifically, winter weather advisories uh, along the lower Yukon coast, extending a bit inland, places like St. Mary and then along Norton Sound and along Kotzebue Sound up through Noatak and Kivalina. And this will continue into early Thursday morning until 6 a.m. Another round of light to moderate snow and gusty winds will be pulling across this area tomorrow into tomorrow night. Winter storm warning still in effect for places like White Mountain, Golovin, Nome, Teller, up through Wales. Additional probably at least three, four inches of snow and gusty winds and blowing snow possible there Wednesday into Wednesday night. And we still have a winter storm warning for St. Lawrence Island until early Thursday morning for similar conditions. Now in the southeast, I'll step out of the way here, Prince of Wales Island, a high wind warning, as well as for Sitka, Port Alexander, these areas could see uh, some strong winds develop Wednesday morning and afternoon as this front lifts northward and then just kind of sits along uh, the outer coast of the Panhandle. And meanwhile, we're gonna have moisture streaming northward. So there is a winter weather advisory above Skagway up to White Pass, and then a winter storm warning for the area of above Haines, up toward Haines Custom and, and uh, including uh, Chilkat. These areas could pick up anywhere from four to eight inches of snowfall. It's gonna be a wet, sloppy snow as the air mass with this front is not especially cold. And then looking at the satellite imagery on this Tuesday afternoon, you can see the hints of the next low in moisture coming northward out of the North Pacific into the Gulf. That's the system that's gonna bring the high winds to the southern and outer panhandle. And then as that moisture encounters the colder air in the far north, that's gonna change it over to a heavier, moderate to heavier wet snow. Looking further to the west, we have 
a frontal system pushing toward the pribilovs and a secondary low that's going to take shape along that front and that's what's going to lift northward and bring additional rounds of light to moderate snow with gusty winds blowing snow along the west coast from the lower Yukon uh, Delta on up through the Seward Peninsula and along the Chukchi Sea coast as we go through Wednesday, Wednesday night before things begin to taper off uh, Thursday morning. So here on the uh, weather map, late this Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning, here comes the next low out of the North Pacific into the Gulf. We have one low departing uh, up at the Chukchi Sea. Here comes the next one that's going to brush the West Coast with additional light to moderate snow and blowing snow as we go through Wednesday into Wednesday night. And Wednesday afternoon, here's that front coming up along the outer southern western coast of the Panhandle, bringing the high winds to, again, Sitka, Port Alexander, down through Craig, Klawak. Could see wind gust 60 miles an hour, maybe even a bit higher and through some of the higher terrain there. And then the snow that'll fall in the northern panhandle, a wet, moderate to heavy snow up that way, four to maybe eight, nine inches in some spots. And then back here, here comes yet another low out of the North Pacific crossing the Alaska Peninsula, Eastern Aleutians. That'll become the ne next significant system, and it's going to be a broader low pressure circulation, certainly in the mid levels of the atmosphere. So here's the main low Thursday, just inland from Bristol Bay up along the northern end of the Alaska Peninsula. We have an occluded front that'll be sweeping along the Gulf Coast with a secondary low there along it, a secondary low back here along uh, the lower Yukon Coast, and then another little low uh, pressure wave that's going to be rotating out of the uh, Aleutians into the North Pacific and some of that energy heading up toward the Gulf for Friday. So that on Friday, the main low sitting here, secondary low that takes shape over the Western Gulf with this occluded front beginning to break down to a trough. We have another piece of energy that was the one that came out of here for Wednesday, lifting northward along the west side of the Seward Peninsula. This is what has enhanced the snow for areas of the West Coast, but by then it'll be weakening. And then uh, temperature-wise, it's going to allow temperatures to moderate across the state. So Wednesday, as we get the front and gusty winds uh, coming northward, at least tonight into Wednesday morning, temperatures, most areas will stay above freezing in the panhandle, with maybe the exception up there toward Chilkoot White Pass as lows near the freezing marker. So Interior areas of the east could see some sub-zero readings anywhere from 5 to maybe 10 below around Arctic Village and especially the Yukon Flats. Temperatures out along the Bristol Bay area will be at or just above freezing and around or just above 40 along the eastern Aleutians and Alaska Peninsula. For Wednesday as that front windy front comes north it's going to have coastal rains, snow in the far northern part of the Panhandle, but get temperatures Sitka and uh, on Prince of Wales Island, you're going to get temperatures back up at least into the lower 50s, so it'll be somewhat mild. The interior, eastern interior Yukon Flats will just get above zero for Wednesday afternoon, and even cold spots like Northway holding on into the single digits above zero. But look what happens here in the west as that next low comes up along the eastern uh, Bering Sea just off of the lower Yukon coast. It's going to pull temperatures back up just above freezing into the mid-30s, extending up along Norton Sound and certainly the lower uh, Yukon, Kuskokwim uh, areas. And then along the Alaska Peninsula, we could see highs in the mid-40s in some areas for Thursday morning. Still maybe below zero here, Yukon Flats, near zero, Northway and Arctic Village, but not quite as cold. And notice the moderation in temperatures in west of the Alaska Range across the southwest interior. Temperatures generally above freezing the southern western panhandle, but near freezing Juneau up to Skagway and Haines. And then temperatures Thursday afternoon. Still could see a 50 degree reading Prince of Wales Island, but cooler in the north, only in the 30s for highs, little above freezing. And notice the moderation in temperatures along the Alcan border, especially the y Yukon Flats. It'll be a, a good at least 10 degrees warmer than uh, what we expect. Uh, for Wednesday and out here along areas of the southwest interior temperatures will moderate to near freezing not quite as mild but still that milder air coming northward has modified temperatures across the western half of the mainland and along the western north slope and Brooks Range with highs in the 20s there and readings still around or into the lower 40s especially from near Homer down through Kodiak City and extending down into the 
Eastern Aleutian. So here's the six to 10 day temperature outlook, November 24th through the 28th, uh, falling within the period of Thanksgiving. We do expect temperatures to be cooler than normal over the Panhandle, near normal southeast mainland, including Fairbanks, Northway, Anchorage, and then above normal in the northern and western mainland, and especially along the west coast, Chukchi Sea coast, down along the Bering Sea coast, into the lower uh, portion of the Alaska Peninsula and Aleutians. We do expect temperatures to average above normal. Now, the Precipitation amounts are not looking to be especially heavy, even though the storm track is going to kind of orient across the Aleutians into the Gulf. It's not as aggressive or as moist as what we've seen here more recently, but still there could be a bit above normal precipitation over the southwest mainland, especially around and inland from uh, Kuskokwim, Bristol Bay, and the Alaska Peninsula. But below normal precipitation expected with those cooler temperatures over the Panhandle and perhaps along the uh, Alcan border on up into uh, the Arctic coast, North Slope, and a good portion of the Brooks Range. And that's how things are shaping up here as we get into uh, the Thanksgiving holiday.